Good morning. It is testing day. Yeah, taking my test today. So that's fine, but I, I woke up with a cold. So yeah, that, that really blows. Thank you all yesterday for leaving all those great comments. Like, who knew my audience is in so many different places. You've all got your own stories. It was really great to, to see that. Uh, and that is like my favorite part about making videos, I think, is is the interaction. It's fantastic. Uh, so please leave more and more comments. Just, yeah, let me know anything and everything that you're thinking. Uh, it's great. I love it. So what is on the menu today? Well, for those of you who don't know, this is called a balsa. It's a steamed bun, but inside is stuffed with, well, whatever you want. It could be meat, could be vegetables, um, you know, whatever. So these are actually uh, mushroom and cabbage and carrots and stuff. So it's like a, uh, the veggie bowl. So let me take a bite and show you what's inside. Hmm. Well, there we are. I love bowl to just because, I mean, look at that. It looks great, right? It gets you nice and full. It's not oily. And uh, these, it's just vegetables. That's all. Very simple, but very nice. Most of your kind of ordinary Chinese people don't have printers in their homes. So they actually go to a print shop to print out all the stuff that they need. Uh, so like this is the one that I usually go to right here. They're usually called like Fu Yin Dian or something like that. Uh, this one is actually a stamp place, but they actually do uh, other things. So there's kind of like stamps and photos. And so you say Fu Yin Dian right there, Fu Yin Dian. So yeah, you just go there and you tell them what you need and uh, you can print it off. Uh, could, the price could be anywhere from like, you know, two Jiao all the way up to like one yuan so like the prices are just crazy different there it is there's my ticket all right let's go yeah these e-bike people don't like the public share bikes at all they really don't like it because this is pretty much like e-bike street right here this is e-bike street like they just sell these and they're just always on the sidewalks and clogging up everything they've always done that but yeah they hate the mo bikes and ofos and stuff they hate it the people who sell e-bikes uh, taxi drivers, black taxi drivers, uh, rickshaw drivers, all these people who, you know, use other means of transportation, you know, to, you know, get customers around. Yeah, they'll just throw them in piles or, or break them on purpose. And I remember, like, a couple months ago, there was, like, an attack. <laughs> there was, like, an attack on Mobikes uh, really close to here. And there was something, like, in one afternoon, there was, like, 400 bikes that were vandalized. Just in one, like in one place, like around one subway stop. So yeah, it's, yeah, some people really don't like these things. <laughs> so I got to the subway and then I forgot, like, where am I taking the test? I, can't, I don't remember where the test is. It's somewhere around Tianfu Square, which is uh, right here. It's just a few stops away, uh, but I don't really remember where to go from there. <laughs> but anyway, I'll take you to Tianfu Square. It's the heart of Chengdu, the heart in the center of Chengdu. So, it'd be a good thing for you guys to see. Movie magic, we have made it to the square. So this is Tianfu Square. In Chinese, it's called Tianfu Guanchang. This is the heart of Chengdu. This is the very center of the city. When you look on a map, this is the place you always see first. This is one of those kind of must come places. One, because it is actually in the middle of Chengdu. Two, because there are a couple of museums just around here. The uh, Science and Technology Museum is actually just over here. They have a city museum down in the pedestrian shopping street below. And actually, yes, under this fountain right here, which I've never actually seen working, there is a pedestrian shopping street. There's actually quite a few things you can do around here. You can spend a couple of hours when you're in Chengdu just to see it, take a few photos, see all the policemen who are hanging around along with the uh, hawkers trying to sell uh, photographs and stuff like that. But yeah, it's cool. It's one of these places you don't really come very much if you actually live in Chengdu. But if you are traveling, if you want to just come visit Chengdu, definitely come here because the environment's nice. It's big, open, uh, it's clean. I think this is some kind of seal of the party or something so yeah and then of course Mao Zedong yes chairman Mao sees all <laughs> but my test is not actually here at the square I believe it's up that way somewhere it's up that way somewhere 
uh, I have to look on the maps again and uh, get my bearings. It was not that one. It was actually the one across the street right there on top of Tommy Hilfiger marker furnishings and some others. <laughs> that would not have been my first guess. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay. Four words. Piece of cake, baby. Piece of cake. Yeah. All right. So that was so much easier than I thought it was going to be. So much easier than I thought it was going to be. Like, if you got those books that I got, uh, and you feel pretty good about them, like I did, I didn't really feel much of a problem with them, then you'll pass the test no problem. Because that test is so much easier than those practice books that I had. It's so much easier. Also by Tim Fu Square is the Sichuan Library. Yeah, the Sichuan Provincial Library is right there. I think that's one part, and I think this is another part of the library. But I'm not actually sure. Yeah, this place is, is massive. So, hey, if you're into reading, into books and all that, you can check this place out. And not only that, People's Park is actually within a kilometer of Tianfu Square. So, I mean, if you go to Tianfu Square, you're pretty much in the heart of it all. You're in the heart of it all. And, you know, a lot of the normal tourist places besides the Panda Base, they're pretty close. All right, guys, I think that's enough for today's video. Uh, I'm going to head off to a coffee shop or something and uh, get this video edited up and then head home. See you guys tomorrow.